All right, what's going on, everybody? So today I want to do a little quick tutorial about this uh, HP 15 model BA018WM. Now, if you do that search inside the HP support search, you will come up to this specific uh, notebook right here, HP notebook, which happens to be the AMD quad core E27110 APU with a uh, four gigabyte RAM and 500 gigabytes of, uh, of uh, hard drive. So I made this video because uh, a couple of friends of mine who actually bought the same laptop that I did, they wanted to know how you can actually upgrade the memory on this, which you can. Um, so I want to show them a little video because I can't actually go to the house and do it. So here, hopefully this video will show them what they need to do. Now I've all told them um, that if they can't or they, they don't understand, it's better if they go to a specialist or someone who's an expert on upgrading memory with something like this because at least they have more experience. But for some of you out there who really can't get to a specialist or you know um, doesn't have anyone around and you want to attempt this on your own risk you can but I am showing you some of the guidelines of what I experienced with this laptop and at least it'll help you around it, I mean it's kind of easy but then it's just small little things that you're gonna run into some problems and I don't want you breaking your laptop because I told you to go ahead and do so like I said from the very beginning I recommend that you do get a specialist and expert to do this for you okay now before we proceed um, to everybody is that first the power has to be shut down okay <clears throat> once the power is shut down you have to discharge the laptop itself okay and the way you discharge it is you got to remove the battery okay the laptop battery has to be removed that has to be unplugged okay once it's unplugged you actually have to hold down the power button on this right you hold the power down for like you know maybe like 25 seconds or so just hold it down and what that does it just basically just discharges any more electric current that's going inside the laptop you know because there's some kind of reserves in there and it just basically discharges them so that's where there's no really electric current going through it okay now um, for this specific, you know, specific model this is just upgrading the memory on this okay uh, I did contact uh, HP support and they said you can actually go up to a 16 gigabyte but um, if you're interested in upgrading it, here's the video. Okay, now first, after we've done all that, discharge it, remove the battery, held the bu power button down, and discharge the, um, the laptop itself, free from any electrical current going in there. Okay, we're gonna turn this around. Now before we go, you're gonna know that this laptop is busted because there's a few things that I did wrong on this, and I'm gonna just show you guys what not to do what I did wrong. Okay, now, so this right here is going to be very very simple there's screws all around you'll see the screws 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 they're going to be right here any screw that you see right here uh you're going to remove the battery too when you remove the battery itself you're going to see some screws by the battery as well you just unscrew those two as well unscrew that everything now here's the first mistake i did i didn't realize there was actually some screws underneath this part right here okay and this is the part that's like a little grip but it's actually the part where you know it bends the laptop my screen bends so when you remove these little sticky things you'll find some in there you'll find screws screw there and a screw right there you got to remove those screws those will be the last ones there all right now when you do that you got to safely remove the back of this okay now before you do that okay just one thing you have to know fyi is that the screen itself now you're gonna see that it's busted okay it's basically broken okay um, now, because I didn't discharge myself and didn't release any elect electrical current on my body, I ended up touching the motherboard on this and a little spark went off. So basically what I did was I fried the motherboard on this. So this computer is no longer working. It was only a week old and I basically destroyed it already. Okay. Now, um, the other thing too is that this screen is actually attached to, you know, everything underneath the keyboard, you know, and there's going to be a small little, um, strip that connects from the power which is right here to the laptop itself I mean to the keyboard and everything underneath here okay um, it's very very thin and one little tug like if you tug on it and it's gonna come right off once it comes off that's basically you won't be able to see your screen anymore after that okay so before you even do all that and we have our screws removed it should come off kind of easily but not quite so you're gonna have to little by little kind of remove you know so forth so on you got to be careful about that corner because it has a little attachment okay but i'm gonna show you right now what happens when you remove it once you remove it this whole thing comes off all right it's gonna come right off and the little attachment i'm talking about for you guys is right here 
see this little thing right here this little attachment that guy right there connects to this guy right here which is underneath the power button and that those two connect to each other so basically it's like this all right and because if you're not careful of removing the, the lid or the back of this you're basically going to be tugging tugging and eventually it's going to snap off and that's it kiss your screen goodbye all right but once you safely remove it okay in the back of this like this this is the whole motherboard you know you don't really want to touch much but you can actually see that here is your little memory slots okay there's going to be already one in there now with these ones however um there's some that kind of snap out you know like you have to open them up and it's uh, supposed to you know release the um <clears throat> It's supposed to release like a little spring so you can put the memory card or you know like the the memory stick inside now what these ones are kind of different what you're gonna actually have to do is uh, you're gonna have to get the memory itself and stick it in right right in there and then push down on it all right and then once you do that you stick the little card in there at an angle stick it in there and then push down until it clicks on these things and you're gonna hear just a small little click that means it's already stuck on there and once you do that, that's all. It's all set. You know, you're all done. You know, um, if you have any more questions, feel free. Just send me a message or something. I can help you with some of this. But hopefully, this will give you a little um, idea of what to do because you don't want to do what I did. And I mean, it was a decent, okay kind of laptop. Not the best, but okay. But like I said, there's some amateur moves on this, and I end up messing it up. So I don't want you guys doing this. So just a quick review: battery removed, power power supply removed, or the power cord. Sorry power uh, cord removed and hold the power button down to discharge the laptop so there's no current going through this right here once you do all that remove screws remove every screw okay and gently remove the lid and then you come to this part right here and this guy right here is where the memories are at and you can see there's two slots for two memories it has to be either um, whatever you want it to be two two gigabytes four four gigabytes to make eight or two eight gigabytes to make 16 so you guys have it so if you guys Found this very helpful um, please let me know and if you have any more trouble send me a message thanks